Okay, so now we'll just start creating this uh, shape. Uh, so we just added extra segments over here and this time to adjust this plus one. And we need to add some segments also over here. So shift right click inside edge loop tool. Let's add some segment here. And then I'll just start adjusting this uh, vertex over here. Select this vertex, start fixing it up. Just to get that shape. Okay, so any more segments you require, you can just still add on the over here. So shift right click inside this loop tool and go for vertex. Start adjusting this vertex also to get this shape. So press 3. We have that uh, shape also. Okay, so now we are done with this. Uh, now, what are this bottom shape over here? So, we need to work on this shape. Okay, so start by creating again box, and we just have a lot of segments for this. So, go to the front view, let's create some box over here. Let's add, let's scale it. We need to start creating the bevel for that over here, and this is what this back side of it. Okay, so first do the blocking of this, so go to control vertex and let's start adding it over here. So, this is what it is the blocking stage of this. Okay, and we'll just start adding the bevel for that uh, below. And top, what is happening over here is I can just extrude this up. So just start extruding this part. So select the face again, shift right click, extrude face, bring it up, again G. Okay. So just do the blocking of this now. So go to the vertex, start adjusting the vertex over here to get this rounded shape and this yeah, push it back okay so now we just start doing the blocking of this over here so we just need to get that uh, proper shape so how the top shape is there uh, how this is changing so if you just want to go to the vertex start adjusting this this side and all uh, we can just do that so first we need to have some segments of this so let's select this whole part a little scale like this and that side let's scale it little bit let's scale it inside okay so now here whatever the shape you want to add it over here so you can just do bevel so select this edges Shift select this, shift right click, bevel. Okay, so once we got that, we can adjust the number of segments over here, so how much we want. So we can just see that uh, shape over here. Okay, so now we need to start adding a lot of segments to the corner edges. So when I press 3 on my keyboard, it might change the shape of this like this. So stop talking. So just start adding the segments inside edge loop tool. Let's start adding it over here. In this place also. And then we have this. And here, so some of the segments are just added here as well. To make that uniform. Okay, so here we will not be able to connect uh, some of the place uh, places because it is open. So we have to press isolate this and what you do is you just connect this on here so shift right click multi cut and you can connect from here to here so zoom and just click on this right click so this is fine and i just need to add some segments for this as well so as it is continuing so just want to continue this segment just start continuing it over here
I'll just straighten that and you can also add loop and then you can connect it. So just start connecting. Here, zoom in, press backspace, click on this, press enter to finish that and then I can just start connecting. Press enter. Okay, so go to the vertex, select all this, press R and scale it. And you want to snap it, press X and snap to this grid. So I can just snap it to that point and we have this on our side. Okay, so what on the loops has to be continued over here, we can just start continuing. So insert edge loop to add one uh, loop, control Z. Go to the vertex and check if anything extra vertex are there, then it's fine. And let's start adding this insert edge loop tool and then start connecting it over here. So where we want this segment and this place. So here also I just want the segment at this place. So I can connect that vertex now. So go to the vertex, select this option and one more and shift right click connect component. Again this one and here press G. So on this we can just start connecting it over here. So like this, this, G. Again start selecting this, G. And from this point to that point again we will start connecting. So go to multi-cut, start connecting from this point. So here, and right click. Backspace, click it, right click, cut that. So we are getting this shape, press 3. And we have this shape over here. Okay. So now, uh, any of this place you uh, so according to that reference, it is goes inside this shape. So I need to make sure that I just fix it over here. And here we can see some sharp edge here. So press one, and you can just start adjusting this vertex over here. So just start placing it over here. Bring this down. And this part, I think I have to pull this out uh, to get that shape. So select all this vertex, this one. Shift select this. So press 4, space bar, and I can just select it over here. So shift and drag it. Shift and select it. So just check it. So when you have press 4, you can just see it properly over here. Now if I just press R and if you just want the shape to be more rounded over here like this. Okay, so we can just make this more rounded and we have it. Okay, so here also if you feel that some segments wish to be added, press 3. And here you want the sharp edges, so insert edge loop tool, press 1 and press 5. Let's start adding one segment here to make that also sharp and press 3 to have that. Okay, so where and all we want to add the segments, you can just start adding that segment over here. Now press 1. And I just need to insert this face and uh, have it has to go inside. So what I'll do is just select all these faces now. And just select all this. Okay, so we can define uh, all this. So later I'll just add this segment. So shift double click, control delete. So all these segments I can just add later stage. So control delete and then select only this faces now. So press Q. This one just start adding this faces. Okay, so we have done the selection of all this uh, faces now uh, and if you just want to give some depth to it. Okay, so now select this extrude face and you can just do this offset over here. So if I just click on this offset, we can just see how much offset we can give. So I think some face if you miss, 
So select that face again, shift right click, extrude face and offset this. So when I click on this offset, we can just see that. So how much we want this shape to be over there. Okay, so once we have done this offset, uh, for this shape, if you want to uh, pull this out, we can just start adding one more segment. Press G again. So if you just want this to be lifted up like this. So there is this will be different uh, material over here. So just start pulling this out and we have this shape. So now we can just start adding the loops. Insert edge loop tool. Shift right click, insert edge loop tool. So I just want in this place as well as Let's press 3 and we have this shape. Okay, so uh, even this uh, places, so you want that to be sharp, uh, so we can add some segment over here. So, this all these places we just need to add some loops. So, insert edge loop tool, just start adding this loop over here. This place also, and this place also. So, press 3 now, so we can just see that shape. Okay, so that details we just wanted to have that uh, detail, so we have this now object. Now select this, right click, existing material, and I'll just add this blend one for this, and we have this shape. Now if you just click on this in the isolate, so we have this shape as well. Okay, okay so now to create uh, this, so that's why I just created this map, so I can add separately this map over here. Okay, so now we have this uh, shape. I think back side also I could have uh, extruded that. So it's fine. They yeah, this one is fine. Uh, so to create this, now again this has to be connected with this. Okay, so we can just have uh, some separate object you want to create. You can just create separate object. So go for create, polygon, and just use this cylinder this time. Press G or press E and J on your keyboard so you can just snap rotation. Now we have this, press W, scale it over here. So this is the size of that. And scale this. So just fix it and then according to this, I just want to adjust this object. Here. So let's fix this. Okay, so we have one more object which will be here like this and uh, it will be connected. So there are again three uh, things which you need to create. Three, three uh, cylindrical shape which will be connecting over here. So it can be like this. So we have this one. Okay, so let's make this bigger uh, shape or let's move this over here. Press go to vertex. Just fix that over here. So same cylinder, I can just move it in that side as well. So go to object. Now control D. Uh, so while duplicating, if you just create an instance of this, that will be helpful. So uh, go to edit, duplicate special, and create this instance copy of it. So uh, click on instance and apply and then you move towards this side. So when you uh, edit this object, other object will also uh, work with it. Now I just select this face. Now if I just select this, see that even that will affect. So you don't have to do, uh, either you can just make everything and uh, just duplicate it. Now we have this, shift right click. If there are 10 objects which is similar and uh, instead of duplicating, you want to do everything at the same time, you can use this. Uh, now, Go to the thickness of this or offset it. So offset. See how much you want this offset. And again, press W, shift, right click, and you can use this bridge. Uh, there is this bridge gone, bridge faces. So you have to select that whether with the instance whether it will work or not. So let's select everything. Should work. Okay, so we have this bridge faces, but here it is giving some kind of uh, issue for that. So if you want to twist it, 
you have this uh, twist option over here so if you want to uh, check this division of that we can add lot of divisions so now it is fine so when i try to add the divisions and uh, unnecessary these are unnecessary divisions you want to remove uh, later we can just remove that over here so what i'll just is just select this now just to make that proper so sometimes it will have that issue so control and delete now it is fine uh, the mesh looks fine and let's start adding some kind of segments so when i smooth that it will be proper or you can use the bevel edge so either you as so i just select all this double click shift and double click and shift right click bevel edge so i can give that bevel edge increase the number of segments and fraction you adjust it so we don't want this much increase one more segment over here so it is fine okay so press 3 and it will be fine over there so you have this object on this okay so one more uh, surface will be there which is inside so existing material i just use the same plane and we have this surface and i just want to create one more thing which will be connected to this so this has to be connected with this surface so press r and if i can just scale that to match with this okay, and one more so i just add this okay so the so same cylindrical shape uh, or if you don't want to create one more cylinder shape over here and if you want to get the exact radius of this so i can also select this edge like this and uh, we can also modify from this so we have this edge now so shift right click and if i just extrude this edge press r and if you just want to extrude this like this and i can separate that now so we already have this radius now so if i just select this shift right click extract faces so uh, this is already one more uh, object which is which will be over here okay uh, so anytime we can just have that option and any suppose you are seeing now this one you can just see that so one faces which is reverse so i can just select that face so if that face is reverse you can select that face mesh dip, display and reverse so sometimes the mesh might be reverse so you can just have that and delete and we have this shape over here so go to the face again go to edges select all this shift extrude edge press r scale it down and this is that inside part of that so again extrude edge press r W is R to scale it and just fill all. So if I just give fill all, it will fill that whole surface now. And this will be inside this, suppose here. I think one more copy is gone. So control D, place it over here. Okay, okay so if you just duplicate this uh, two objects now, uh, so by just doing the bridge again, uh, so you don't have to work. On it, so if I just control D, control D, move it in this side, and you need to reverse that face. So control A, go to the channel box, and scale. I think the scale is should be minus one for that, uh, which is this axis. Let's rotate that. So this is X. So make it 180 degree this way and so we get this shape and then you just move it inside it over here. Okay, so we have these two objects, select these two objects and I end isolate and we have it. Okay, so now we can bridge between these two uh, objects directly over here. So if you want to select this, first you have to combine these two objects to bridge it. So before combining what I have to do is I just uh, connect this all this vertex. So select this, uh, and this okay. shift right click, connect components. So let's do that first. G is a shortcut. So select this and G.
So before duplicating, also if you could have done that, this uh, because both the sides we want same. So that G, that's G, and let's connect this from here. So go to multicut to connect from here to this point, and right click. Okay, so what I'll do is you can either bridge this, but again I have to model that, so or uh, again I have to connect that. So instead of that, I just select this one. And the pivot point of this, I'll just make this now. Uh, okay, so isolate. So half mod, half I'll just make it and then I'll just do the symmetry of that. Shift right click, extrude edge, and bring it over here. Just check that model. So this is what we have. Till this point, and I'll just do the mirror of that. So, uh, so just select this now. Go to mesh, and here we have mirror. So, which axis you want to do mirror, and uh, where the pivot point of this uh, object is? From that, it will take the mirror point. So, you need to make sure that first adjust the pivot point. Press D, adjust it over here. So, this is the place. And make sure that vertex, I'll just select and fix it in this grid. And then just go to mesh and mirror, uh, which is this axis, you can specify that x plus or x minus. So when I uh, keep that minus, this is done. So we'll have this, both the sides, the shape uh, will be there. Now press 3. So it will be like this. So uh, when it is very smooth, now press N. Uh, make sure that you add some segments, supporting segments over here. So insert edge loop tool, add it. So here also, just add one segment. So that's what the supporting segment will help us to do. So we have this shape which is over here. And end isolate, and we have this. So, if you want to connect from here to that, I'll just uh, select that pieces and just push it inside. So, we need two more segments. So, insert edge loop tool, one is over here. This one, just near this, and this is this. And let's select this faces. So, go to this now, suppose here. So if I just go to the front view and select this faces only, so go to object mode, select that cylinder, select this face, screw, select this. Suppose I, I just want it to be connecting over here, so press 4. So from this point, uh, you can just extrude it inside, so extrude face and push it inside so it looks like some kind of connector. Anyway, it is not seen. So isolate now. Go to object mode. End isolate and again isolate the full thing. So press three again. Press five. And so some segments you need to add here also. So insert edge loop tool. Press one. And let's start adding some segment in this place. Also. And here also, and we have this shape press 3, so it will be connecting to that object and we, anyway it is not seen, so it is fine. Okay, so now we are done with this uh, part of that model now, so any of this uh, texturing and all will be working on this and we need some kind of glass over here. So control S, save the file and let's add some kind of glass part over here. So again we can just start adding, uh, if it is concave glass you can just start with sphere. So go to create polygon primitives, just use one sphere and you need to rotate that. So go here, let's bring that to this place, press E, J and I start rotating that. Okay, so fix it in the front and let's try to scale that. So how much uh, this should be the glass part and let's try to scale it here. So 
because if you want this to be out there and I'll just add some kind of material for this to give the transparency it goes like this okay so if you want to see some kind of refraction and all we'll just add uh, this glass metal back so here and if I click assign new material and for now I'll just add some bling material for it and transparency so here we have transparency option uh, which you can increase the transparency of that glass okay. just add the transparency to give that effect uh, so when we go for the Arnold render we'll just do proper uh, I'm just applying the basic materials now so material attribute this is the transparency of that so how much you want the transparency for that if you want full transparent add that and we have specularity so how much it should be uh, reflecting or the amount of light so now it is there now we can just still see that okay so now select control s select everything uh, if you just want to do the animation of all this thing now we need to plan how to group the object how the animation will be for this so if you just want to show uh, this object will be animating and all we need to make sure that we do proper grouping and pivot point we have to adjust properly for this okay so how the plan of that animation will be so I'll just select everything first place it in this place make it in the center and let's delete all this so go to modify first go to freeze transformation okay so all the transformation I'll just make it zero now edit delete all by type history so there should be no history of that uh, tools over here so now we are done with this so there is no history and uh, so sometimes to create uh, this kind of geometries now if you want to create you can just use map or we can also use something called floating geometry uh, so we call it as something floating geometry over here so to create that I don't need this background so delete okay so let's use uh, go to create now again go to polygon primitives and if I just use something like sphere again so I'll just show you what is this floating geometry so press E J and rotate it and let's delete this uh, faces now so select all this face delete it go to the top view press 4 I think I need to push this object it is fine I'll select this faces delete this off and let's select this edge so we can start adjusting so go to uh, extrude edge and I'll push it back press W push it back here okay so if I am creating something which is having the depth like that and press R and just scale it like this and reverse so display reverse it okay so some of this part we just want to adjust now so select this part let's start pushing it back and press R scale it just scale it more just want something which is like this all this if you want to adjust that position of that you can start still adjusting the position of this back and go to the vertex like this push it and let's start adding some loops so when I press 3 on my keyboard and let's add it so press insert edge loop tool press 1 let's start adding some loops here also and I'll just give the same material for that so press 3 right click assign existing and uh, this works if it is a similar kind of material and uh, you just want to add it on the top of this press R let's scale this down and adjust the pivot point of this so D adjust the pivot point of this one okay so it will be just floating on the top of this surface that's it so this is what we call it as floating geometry so let's bring it over here 
because here you just want all these pieces to be there that's it press R let's scale it down Press R, let's scale it and just push it forward. That's it. So it will be just there on the surface, it won't go uh, on the top of it. Okay, so if it is like a similar surface, now if I just want to duplicate this, control D and place it over here randomly. Some of this surface like this, or here something which is not here. And okay. okay, so sometimes we can use this kind of uh, floating geometry. So on the high poly model. Uh, you can have this kind of floating geometry and on the low poly model you can bake that textures uh, so sometimes we have to use like this so it will be difficult if you want to create with this uh, if you want to create means you have to model uh, with this mesh structure so, or you just have the floating geometry like this and suppose on both the sides I just want to add that so let's select everything group it and and just duplicate on the other side. So control G W control D and minus one. So I have this aspect. Okay, so any of this, so now we can just see that. So any of the text you want to create now, uh, and you want to add some kind of text, uh, we also have the text tools. So go to create and we have this type option. So what kind of, what is this camera is, uh, you can just type it, suppose which is this camera which you have, logic. So if I just click on this type and it will create some kind of 3D text for us. Uh, so go to the type option and here you type what is that logo is, so if it is, let's make it Samsung. And uh, uh, you can adjust this, uh, all this attribute, you can change the font of this. So if you feel that different font you need to add, let's try changing into different fonts. So here we can find a lot of fonts as well. So once you try changing that, whichever the Samsung font is there, you search for that font. Uh, so whatever the logo you are creating or product you are creating, uh, make sure that you search for that kind of font as well. So now we have this and here we can just see there are different properties of that. So first is type mesh and here. Okay, so here also you can just see different properties. So if you want to change anything, if you want to change the spacing between this, you have this tracking, curling and all this option. So if you just want to see that this. Okay, so extra attribute that is nothing and here we have geometry option So whatever the extrusion is there So if you just want to uh, adjust that over here, so we can just see that there are different properties of that bevel profile If you just try changing that for this text uh, we can have this so enable bevel So now we can just see this uh, how this curve shape of that Changes. So here we can have different bevel profiles. So if I just change it, this one, this one, click on that. So whichever you feel that if you want nice and rounded shape like this. So here we can find that uh, a bevel offset is there and here we have the extrude distance. So if you just want, want any kind of extrude 0, let's give 0 0.01. And bevel also, so I don't know this bevel also. So you just have very flat text, which is over here, and scale it. Just scale to very small size. You just want that to be on the top of this over here somewhere, and just place it. Scale it down more. 
and where you want to place that. So go to modify, center pivot, and then you can place it in whichever the place this looks like. So sometimes you can do with the texture, or if you just want to use any kind of text itself, which is over there, you want to keep it on the top of that. You can also have this text, direct text, and that can also be animated over there. So little distance, and we have this. So want to push inside? We we'll just push it inside. So, so if any kind of Chrome text is there that you want to add it, some kind of embossed text, is a just make it very flat. So, so we have uh, all this different uh, options for this, and let's select this Control S. And what we'll do is we'll just try to render, uh, render with this. Uh, add some kind of background for this. So go to the plane. Select the plane. Press R. And just some kind of uh, product we can add it. So increase this. And let's make this some kind of background for this. H, shift right click, extrude edge, W, move it up. This, shift right click, bevel edge, and increase the number of segments. So I'm just creating some kind of backdrop for that uh, rendering this object. So again, extrude, select this, select this, bevel edge. That's fine. So now we can fix the camera and uh, just start to render that object over there. So it is one group. So all this can be one group, right? So everything we just select, type, and plane, except the plane. Uh, you can make it Control G, press W, and you can just so different angle you want for this. So you can just have a little rotation for that, and we are good. Okay, so we have different materials for different objects. So I can just select all this now. Select everything. And this time we'll just go for Arnold uh, Render. So uh, right click, assign new material. And inside this we have something called Arnold Shader. So click on this and just use this AI standard surface. So what will happen is it will uh, assign that material for that and just change the color of this to black. The text should be different color. So I just want this text to be chrome. So assign again new material. This time uh, we'll be using again standard surface, AI standard surface. And we have certain presets also over here. So if you want chrome text, uh, you can go to this presets and click on this chrome and uh, you can replace. Ceramic is there, you can just click on this chrome, replace with that chrome text. So what will happen is that is going to reflect. Now for the front one we need some kind of glass. So again assign new material, surface shader and we have something AI standard surface again. And this time you want some kind of glass, so go to the glass option, replace. So it will directly give that uh, uh, textures or material for you and we have over here. Okay, so now we are done with this, all this, so top part if you want, you can just keep it or just delete this top part because we will be just adding some lights to the scene. So go to Arnold, lights and here we have some different types of lights. So if you want HDRI map, I can use this sky dome render. So let's see this first uh, render of the scene. So go to Arnold, open render and let's have this. Okay, uh, so yeah, so it is taking time. Okay, so now we have done this texture and uh, we can just see that what kind of color uh, it is giving and uh, this materials. So now if you want to change the material, so select the material material attribute now so it is more gray so you want it to make it more black it will more darker black and uh, you want this to be more reflective so here we have something called roughness so if i reduce the roughness it will be more uh, reflective surface let's go for render open that render and let's check this 
So this is for the preview purpose of that. So you can just see that. Huh? Okay, so it takes time for this. Uh, we didn't apply any kind of lights to the scene. It is just a one skylight which is giving this uh, render for us. So let's see this how it can look. Uh, and it will show a lot of noise in the starting because uh, it is still rendering. Uh, once that render is done, you will see that everything is smooth for it. So take time and you can just see that how it renders. So if you just start adding some lights to the scene now, so escape. So there is no light. This is a, a direct light which we have. Okay, so this is just a direct lighting and if you want uh, this surface also to be reflective. So assign, go to the material attribute, uh, let's assign one more material for this, assign new material, again standard surface and here also AI yeah, standard. So this material also I want reflective, so inside this we have option roughness. So if I reduce this roughness, we will see that surface is more reflective now. So whatever this surface will be more reflective. So it will have the reflection of that over here. So you can just see that. Now it is reflecting uh, the surface. Okay, so if you want like totally black. Make this also total black. And let's see this now. Now it's okay. Okay, so whatever this uh, this region which we are seeing it over here, that is the environment which is coming on the top of it because everything will be totally dark. Uh, whatever the environment is there, so if I just uh, press go to this option rendering. If I go to render render settings, uh, go to the Arnold, and here we have something called environment. Okay, uh, so that will be like totally dark which are you see so this total black region so that we need to change it uh, into a different color or i can just add some map for this let's add some kind of map uh, over here hdri map you need to download and add to this to get that map so for getting that hdri map uh, there are a lot of free maps so if you want to do for studio lighting so there is a website called uh, hdri heaven So here you get or this is poly heaven now. So you can see a lot of different uh, HDRI maps. Uh, suppose if you are rendering inside the studio, you want like that studio kind of effect. You have all this HDRI. So this is what which is having that lights and all this. So it is the interior inside of the studio where there are three different lights for product shoot. And I can click on that and download this. Uh, make sure that it is HDR. Don't download EXR download HDR map and let's use that into the scene so go to this and apply file let's go for uh, I think here it is download somewhere so I'll just copy that part and paste it so I'll just use that HDR map and let's add to this. So go to computer E drive and we have this brown or small studio. Okay, so once I add that map, uh, it is applied to this. You can just see that is the map and that is the whole studio setup which you can see it over here. So we can also rotate this uh, map. So if you want to rotate, if you want the direction of the light to be changed. So I can also rotate this. Suppose if you want like this to be rendered, now go here and let's start, go to Arnold, Arnold render view, let's start seeing this one. So it will take some time to render that. Yeah, 
so this now so it is giving that kind of hdri uh, whatever the lighting are there so that is started reflecting inside this uh, so whatever the environment is there it is uh, coming on the top of this surface now so if i just fix the camera now so go to view camera settings and resolution gate so press 4 and 5 so we can just see that uh, where the camera is how the setup is and let's use this so properly fix the camera angle over here just place this and then you start checking that uh, how you want this uh, light setup to be so depending on that uh, we can change this now so background is cutting so we can just press r let's scale it yeah. Okay, so anytime you want to change the lighting and check it, so you can just select this sky dome and try rotating that. So, if according to your liking how this light should be, you can just have that. And let's check this over here again. See, yeah, this is what it is. We're just making total black. See, so whatever the floor material you want to change. Now go to the floor material, material attribute. Let's change this to some of this so color white or something. Let's check this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you feel that the specularity is more inside this and you want uh, this much specularity won't be there inside this, you can always come and change the specular uh, values over here. So select this object material attribute and here we have uh, roughness okay so roughness is totally if it is like this you'll get the chrome material so if the roughness is totally zero so if you just go for this now let's render it again okay so material and the color of that also i need to change so if i make it full let's check that now it will be like total chrome kind of material since surrounding is totally white that is what it will reflect on the top of this okay so this is what it will change so if i just change it now yes. let's apply for this some different material assign new material and let's go for arnold standard change this to whichever material you want suppose if you want like uh, diamond you have plastic you have chrome you have let's go and check this chrome how does it look so now we get this okay so it takes time and we have this material so. okay so this color uh, we need to change it to more give it dark black so go to the material attribute and this is a make it more black let's see that. roughness little bit let's render this so material and lighting we have to work more uh, once you have done the modeling part of it so look and feel of that how it looks particular objects so we'll be working more on material next Okay, so uh, either I can apply some noise also we need to add on the top of this. So a lot of things are required for the material point of view. But this is what, just to preview the render if you want to check that. Just have this. So let it render fully. So rendering it will take a lot of time. Uh, so so plan it. So when you want to do the animation, how much time it will take for rendering that whole uh, thing. So you need to submit the video of it. Fine. So we'll be animating the camera. Uh, some different different uh, shots of that. Some close up shots. Some long shot. How you see in that Amazon and all these things. If you want to make a turntable of that also, you make it. You can just. Just see this. So let it render. Let's see. This. So I just make, give the chrome material for this, and you have this which is inside that. So that I need to change it. So the material what I gave for that. 
So you will see this kind of noise uh, now inside this uh, image. So whenever you see this, because that is because of the light and samples. So if I just select this Kaido and here we have this sample uh, for the light. So you can increase the samples more. A little exposure I will give. So that will do. Okay. So more samples you increase and there is one more option inside this render settings over here is uh, you can go to the unknown render and camera AA samples. So if you still find there is some kind of noise, uh, this I can increase it to more values over here. Okay. So depending on what uh, values, uh, depending on which is the thing which is causing the noise. Sometimes the diffuse uh, values cause noise, sometimes the specular will cause the noise. You can individually control all this separately. So if you want to add the diffuse value to 4. So I can individually control each of this attribute. But the camera AA will control everything. So when I increase the camera AA value. Suppose if I just make it 16. Uh, you can see that diffuse sample increases. Specular sample increases. Transmission sample increases. So if you want to control the samples of it individually. You can adjust and change it over here. So that that is that we'll see when we go for the lighting part of it. So now we can just work on any of the product model, uh, and still I need to work on uh, this uh, material and uh, texturing part of it. So we'll just unwrap the model. We'll just texture it uh, wherever that sponge is there. We'll add sponge kind of texture wherever the plastic is there. We'll add the plastic textures, and then we'll start rendering that product. Okay, so this is just a preview uh, render of that, how it looks. So you can just add it and just check. Material attribute and I don't want any of this break connection. Let me just have this. Okay. And this is like that total uh, chrome which is giving this effect. So select this one, existing material, and which is that AI standard surface one. This is now this is it. Okay, so this is just with a default light, and we have added any kind of texture here. Okay, so when we will be doing this, we will be taking some kind of render passes also. So we need to take some kind of passes we call a diffuse pass, specular pass, reflection pass. So it will be easy for us to compose it inside uh, Photoshop. So if you take separate passes, uh, suppose uh, the client come up and he asks you that uh, this color should be changed into some different color. So rendering will take again a lot of time. So if you have separate passes, uh, like only the color pass separate, only the reflection pass separate and only the uh, uh, shadow pass separate. It is easy to change the color of that very quickly. So that's why we take the passes also. So that we will see how to take the render passes as well. Okay, so we can add some lights uh, to that and save that. Uh, now we can just see that there is no noise. Uh, very less noise over here since we increase the light over here and this is having a lot of noise. So we still work on that. Is there any doubts? You slept nicely, Manish.